It was Riley Bartlett's favorite color, pink. And it filled the gym and overflow room in Fulton tonight. So many people coming together to remember the Fulton Jr. and pull for her passenger. Oswego County Sheriff's deputies say Riley crossed over the yellow line and hit a minivan head on last night around 530 on State Route 48. Brady Niver, her 16 year old passenger, badly hurt in this accident and rushed to the hospital in critical condition. The two people in the minivan were not seriously hurt. Ms. Chinaline Steph Stoiko says the emotion was raw at tonight's vigil. The Fulton community gathered together this evening to remember Riley. A sea of pink at G. Ray Bodley High School Monday night, a little more than a day after tragedy struck the Fulton community. Hundreds packing into the school's gym and auditorium for a vigil in memory of 17-year-old Riley Bartlett, who died Sunday in that crash and badly injured her passenger, 16-year-old Brady Niver, both juniors at the school. The school superintendent saying there's strength in a community that joins together. And I think that that's important and coming together as you saw this evening um, to, to be there for one another, to support one another uh, through this. Um, and it's just not today, but it'll be in the coming days, weeks and for the foreseeable future and then beyond. Um, so there's strength when we come together. Hit close to home, didn't sleep good last night, was thinking of the other families, could have very well been my child. Uh, it's, uh, it makes you just want to hug them a little tighter and appreciate every moment. Counseling services have been made available and will continue to be available throughout the Fulton School District and community members are keeping Brady in their thoughts. In Fulton, Steph Stoiko, News Channel 9. At last check, Brady Niver was still in critical condition at Upstate University Hospital. The investigation into the crash, what happened? It's still ongoing.